crazy. I know, right? Right, 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 right. Merry Christmas to myself. This is my new rig. Yeah, it came out of the blue. I wasn't even really looking, but I stay in touch with the guy who sold me my first rig, Greg Porter, uh, out of Camping World here in Tallahassee, actually Midway. And he knew that one of the complaints that I had about my Class C was that I wanted a little bit more space in the bedroom. So I was looking for something with a little slide out, still small, and this Class A showed up. I can't believe that after just six months RVing, I'm already up a step. Uh, but my last uh, rig was 24 feet. This is 29, still under 30, and I love it. So this is a 2005 Sightseer. It has only 33,000 miles on it, which is about half, uh, actually more than half than my Class C. My Class C had about 77,000 on it. So this is the new uh, RV Jedi ride. Uh, we've got a name coming for it in a little bit, but how about we take a tour and I'll show you around the new rig. So here's the rig. It's in great shape. Uh, 29 foot uh, Class A. It's a smaller Class A. Uh, you can see the two slides there makes it easy to expand and get really some more space. I'm down with the tiny, so that was really good for me. Uh, and one of the keys to going in and looking at this particular rig, a 2005 Sightseer. Now the storage on this is absolutely fantastic. I have 11 bays on this Class A, the last unit. I only had four, one deep one. This one has multiple deep bays or basements underneath the rig, so I can store a whole bunch of stuff. Also, not a lot of fading on the decals. Everything's in pretty good shape. One of the things I really love about this new rig is even though it's only 29 feet, still small, it does have two slides, one in the living room and one in the bedroom. That makes the interior a lot larger and allows you to get a full queen size bed in the back and that makes a big difference when you're out there on the road for a long time. Above the slides, they have slide awnings. Um, actually, I think they call them slide toppers. Uh, and that will help protect the slide from the rain uh, when it's slid out. So that's a good look at the outside. How about we take a look inside the rig? Step on up, come on in, and you can see the interior of the 2005 uh, Winnebago Sightseer. That's the back of the rig. Turning over here, uh, you can see the front of the rig. Uh, it's surprisingly roomy. Uh, got a dinette set on the right-hand side, big uh, storage and windows. There's a TV there that I am going to replace uh, the driving uh, area. Uh, very easy, big windows so you can see the entire road while you're driving. Um, and uh, the kitchen, uh, smart as usual, no oven. They have a convection oven, so we'll have to learn how to cook with that. The refrigerator is uh, a nice uh, full-size refrigerator for an RV. Uh, and then the uh, shower is kind of in the hallway. You look on up, there is a... Um, uh, you know a skylight there which is really nice it gives a lot of light into the bathroom area moving in to the back uh, bedroom you can see a storage above uh, that's the queen size bed you can uh, the slide out goes there got to get rid of that picture the slide out goes there uh, and you get a, a real comfortable uh, sleeping area uh, lots of storage back in front of the bed uh, look at this wardrobe closet which is really nice you open it up uh, there are three doors there you can hang stuff put stuff there on the on the bottom uh, and then uh, when you look down below the storage area uh, we've got lots of drawers 
great storage to put things in and uh, you can leave some stuff there uh, full time. Also underneath the bed, the bed flips up uh, and there's some additional storage there. A little makeup area here. I don't use makeup so I'll probably use it to do some writing. You can put your laptop there, some other little things, uh, but it's a nice place to go as you go back into the main part of the rig. So that's a look at the new rig, uh, plenty more things to do with it uh, in the upcoming uh, weeks and months, uh, very much like I did with my Class C. I'm going to take this out a couple of times, get a feel for it, uh, and then determine if there's anything else I want to do to it. I, I do have a couple of projects I know I want to get done, uh, but for the most part, I have to learn it, love it, and uh, see what it can do and what it can't do. Uh, I'm glad you guys came along with me for the tour. Uh, please make sure you subscribe to this channel, like, share, uh, and stay with me as we continue this journey in the RV world.